Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black Version 2. In the last episode, if I recall correctly, we uh, fought Clay, the fifth gym, and it went surprisingly well. And we did the Pokemon World Tournament, and I don't even think I really properly fully explained what the hell the Pokemon World Tournament is. If I didn't, then I should. And if I did, then I might repeat myself, but oh well. Um, Pokemon World Tournament is more or less... Uh... It's sort of post-gamey in the sense that, like, the cool stuff in it doesn't happen until the post-game. Or at the very least, a whole lot of effort and work that I can't even really personally put in myself. Um... It would take a long time, and I don't think I have a team for it anyway. Because that's- it's kind of more gearing towards the competitive stuff. But the cool thing about it is that it involves gym leaders and Elite Four members, and all these characters from the previous four generations, and this one as well. So you get to fight gym leaders from Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, and Unova in the Pokemon World Tournament. As well as a couple of other big name characters. No evil team leaders from one, I think, but... Uh, either way, where we actually left off was that Team Plasma went this way. So we're gonna do a thing with them, I guess. While also getting a pee-pee up. Yay! Hmm. I'm gonna go on this ship and do things. Hi, guys. This ship, why is it cold? I don't know. It's disguised as an old sailboat. Hello! I guess this is why they brought it up before at the Castilia. Because... You're about to unleash your rage. Yep, sure. So all I only get to fight two? That's so lame. At least give me a double battle. This would be a perfect time to have a triple battle, game. This is the generation that introduced them. Use them as a gimmick. It bothers me so much that they don't. Whatever, hit you with a rock. I still don't actually know what Wide Guard does. As the, the move, not the Pokemon. I know what Wide Guard does with Pokemon. He gets poisoned, apparently. Also, for whatever reason, whenever... Ooh, nice, wow. Whenever um, these things use the sludge move, it's super weird to me because, like, I just hear the uh, rubber chicken noise, and I don't know why. Like, it's just, it, it's very, very subtle. Also, of course, a crit. It's very, very subtle, but it, it's, it's there in my head for some reason, and I don't really know why, but it just is. Anyways. Hiya. Chomp. I've recently re realized from my Colosseum and XD streams that reusing Pokemon that I have had before, I th it's okay, I think. If it's been long enough since when I last used them. It's still nice to try and use a wide variety of Pokemon, but the fact that I'm reusing a Crocorock for me right now... Well, technically they're not a Crocorock yet. But the fact that I'm doing so isn't a problem, necessarily. Also, hi, I'm Steel-type. I probably should have put you out against the coughing, but oh well. Um... So yeah, I don't know, like... I think in a weird way I have been a little strict on myself in that regard, and like trying to make sure that I'm always using, or as much as I can be, using new Pokemon for myself. And of course I do really like having the variety, it's awesome and I definitely like it. I'm, I'm just saying that like, I shouldn't feel bad. I'm, I don't feel guilty about, oh I have a Crocorock, even though I've already used one before, nine years ago in my first ever personal Pokemon playthrough that had nicknamed Pokemon and Pokemon I actually care about and teams that I actually care about and remember. 
Uh, anyways. Bye, everybody! I want Wide Guard to get experience, so I don't want them dead. What do you have to say about this? It's only a ship when it's crossing an ocean. What is it now, then? Is it just not a ship? What is it? Uh, anyways, what do I do? Sharon. Okay. So now it's a double battle, but I don't get to use my actual team. I have to team up with Sharon. Oh well. Use your dog. It's suddenly, what, like seven, eight levels higher than before? Uh, ancient power of the Golbat. It's flying type. Okay, you're gonna kill the Golbat. Why? That's mean. Stop it! You're all really mean! At least we killed you. Alright, gain that level, wise guard. Heck yeah! Light hard. I think it is in my best interest to turn into a steel dog. Thankfully, it did not use Pursuit. It's a Dark-type, so I probably had that. No, you should have attacked the Grimer. Fine, whatever. Okay, you killed it, sure. Well, it's a 1v2 now. Eh. Might as well work up, because the Stoutland's going to attack the Grimer for sure anyway. And being able to work up will probably help against whatever comes out next, you know? I don't need to do anything. Take care of it all for me, Stoutland. Work up, work up. Everybody likes to work up. Hello! Force Bomb. Oh, I still have to select you. All that work for nothing! Good job, Swagger! Be a little bit faster than a dog next time. Even though you are a dog, sort of. You're Jackal. Anubis. Alright. Let's go, Proto! It's P for Proto. Grimmer and Kofi. Water team! Except, not really, because Wide Guard's not going to be able to take any of these hits well. So, let's send out Heart Stamp, because Heart Stamp, she can definitely take care of Poison types, and I'm just kind of like... Mentally bring myself back to the fact that, oh yeah, types exist. That's what happens when I don't play for a couple days. And by a couple days, I mean two, which is the usual amount of time between when I record. <laughs> Apparently, I just forget how everything works. And I guess I'll attack the Grimer, because you're probably going to kill the Causing. Yep. Goodbye, coughing. Alright, you're level 28. Awesome. Brian! What can be replaced with Brian? 65, 100. And I can find out what Wide Guard does. Protected from wide ranging attacks for one turn. It's a protect type move, but what the hell does wide ranging mean?
Either way, I think it's probably better than Aqua Jet. Because I think my special is a lot higher than my attack. And this is also higher special anyway. Then again, while Crunch is a high power, it also doesn't gain, gain stab. And it doesn't have the speed boost of Aqua Jet, so I think I'll go get rid of Crunch. I have a Dark type anyway. I don't need it. I don't need it. Minimize? That's really rude of you. Don't be small. Alright. Do what? Attack the watch out, please. Didn't really get much of a choice in that matter, but I'll take it. Heck yeah. I don't know how that missed, but I'll take it. The old meets the new. Air cutter hits bolty, right? Yeah. Well, I might flinch now. Or almost die. That works too, I guess. Okay, if Raticate lives, Raticate's not even getting hit, obviously. <laughs> I don't know why I said lives. If Raticate attacks Heart Stamp is what I really meant. Raticate didn't No, oh, Raticate used Sucker Punch. Wait. Raticate used Sucker Punch, Watchhog died. That's bad. I'm not gonna fly. Stop it! Fine. Be that way, I guess. Does revenge work now? Whether it did or it didn't, it died. So I don't really care. Plasma Frigate. Is it a Frigate Orpheon? Okay, I don't know. What's about Purloin? What is going on? Hello. Who are you? You're the person who was shivering in the cold storage. Oh, that dude. Didn't he? Looker, why are you completely awful? Why do people like Looker? He didn't do anything. We captured all these guys, and Looker just lets him go. I understand the guy who's like, okay, but how does this guy get out of there? Like, the guy we met last episode who's like, I want to make amends. Like, okay, fine. He's doing community service, whatever. But what about this dude? Zinzolin. Once again, we will use the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon, and we will you, you didn't... That doesn't count. Once again doesn't mean anything, because you didn't do it the first time. You failed. You're not working with N. N was the one who got the legendary Pokemon the first time. And also me. So, you're... I hate you. Weren't these people working for N? Okay. Oh. The Shadow Triad? What's their deal anyway? Where'd you vanish to? How did an entire boat vanish? With their superhuman powers, they can immobilize people and then disappear. Why not just make them Pokemon? You know? Like, why give superhuman ninja people? Like, that just doesn't make any sense. The cool thing about Pokemon was that it was always grounded in a sort of reality where the only thing you really need to accept were that there were these cool monsters everywhere. Why do the people need superpowers? This is why, why we get crap like AZ in the next generation. And Lysander's giant fucking mega weapon thing. We don't need giant mega weapons. We already have them because they're the Pokemon. We don't need special random people who are ninjas and can immobilize people by touching them! Like, what the fuck is that? That's not... Like, okay, I get that, like, some people can... Like... I don't know, like... acupuncture -y stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure that there is a real-life analog to that kind of thing. But, like, they're literally called superhuman people. They literally, literally teleport onto the stage. Like, I don't think they're grounded in realism of, like, actual, like, techniques in that regard. It just, it completely destroys suspension of disbelief characters like that, that they exist. 
and they're incredibly overpowered too, because like, if they can just do that, why are there even Pokemon battles against Team Plasma? They can just immobilize you before, you know, you even throw the Pokeball. It's, it's stupid. It's so stupid. I don't get why things like that exist. Like, why do they see the need to have a Shadow Triad? It doesn't make Team Plasma cool. Oh, thank God, a Rocky Helmet. Oh, that's an awesome thing to have. I love the Rocky Helmet. Give me the Rocky Helmet. Who's getting the Rocky Helmet? I forget everything about I was complaining about. Give me the Rocky Helmet. Who's getting the Rocky Helmet? Who wants a helmet? Scope Lens. This crit hits. That increases rock type moves. Mm. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting idea of tankiness. I could give it to Energy Ball. Hmm. Who do I want to give this to? Because I really want it. I'm gonna guess there's the amulet coin. Sure, and then I'll give the amulet coin to Heart Stamp. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but you never know. I'm tired. I got woken up early today. Because of lawn people. Because lawn mowers are the loudest thing in the world to exist. And that's always nice. Let's see what's in here. Are there trainers in here? I don't want a fun fest mission, thank you very much. Sorry, Wideguard's apparently not gay. Or at least not for bats. Okay, so... Can't go that direction. Okay, um... Not really sure what I want to be doing. Do I even really want to be here? I mean, yeah, I can be here. The other thing is, though, is that I really do need experience. So, yeah. What is the point of this shortcut? I don't really know. But there's a hiker here, so I'll fight him. Supposedly, it was made ages and ages ago. Neat. Acupressure. What is this? Sharply boosting one of its stats. Huh. Random. Well... All things considered, probably... Could at least be a little more useful than pin missile is the thing. I have barely touched pin missile. I don't really care for pin missile. It exists, but it's not even a really particularly useful move. So, I don't know. Sharply raising stats at random doesn't exactly sound like an ideal thing, but I could at least see that being more useful than pin missile. Why do I keep finding wild Pokemon right before these hikers? Okay, um, I'm starting to feel like I don't care about being here, so you know what? I really hate caves. I really hate when you can just randomly run into wild Pokemon 
and you have nothing that you can do to help yourself against that. I know repels exist, but I don't want to spend my money on those. So I just, I hate caves. I hate being able to just get interrupted like that. So I don't care. I'll gain levels another way. Perhaps by going to Route 6, like I was asked to go that way. So. Let's do that. Also, as it turns out, I didn't need to, like I kind of said before, I apparently did not need to get an Axu from my Black One game. I'm not, st I'm still not necessarily complaining, because again, like, it was really funny that the Hag Hag hatched into an Axu. And to be honest, I had... I might have at least just kind of just been like, eh, let's see if I can hatch this egg while I'm in the game anyway, now that I have this Tortuga. Like, I could have seen that actually happening and being a thing. Even if I wasn't trying to go for the Exu. I don't know. I could have seen it being a thing, is the point. So, like, I don't think it would have actually changed what I did anyway, and at that point, why would I say no to an Axu? Um... Oh lord, you're a breeder, that means you're going to fight me every single time, no matter what I do! Ah, I hate you! Um... But... What was I just fucking saying? The breeder just completely destroyed my train of thought. God damn it, why does this always happen to me? I was talking about caves. Is that what I was referring to? Caves are annoying? I don't think it was. I think I finished that thought and I moved on to something else. I don't remember what. I don't know what. Ah! Good job, you did it. Alright, well, at least this one is easy enough to deal with. Okay. I am down there, but I don't have Surf yet. I guess the other thing is I also would have needed Surf to get Axu. That's what I was talking about! I was talking about Axu. Right. Right. Yes. But yeah, I did- I was misled, basically, by Proto, the real-life Proto, who- who basically told me that it's only after the next gym when you start going towards the right. And... things diverge from the previous game. You have an Ice-type move. That's rude of you. It's not very effective, though. Well, I mean... Okay, it's super effective, but it's not, like... It doesn't deal a ton of damage. Why are you using Water Gun on the turn that I'm not there? Water Gun wouldn't do much to me. Really rude of you. Go away. That's all you had? Okay. Goodbye, Parasol Lady. Ooh, Pokeballs. Experience points for homework. How does that make any sense? Because experience points are a non-diegetic concept. Like, they represent the idea of a Pokémon getting stronger. Experience is a concept that works. Like, in the sense of, you've done things, so yeah, it makes sense that you would be more experienced, you would be stronger. Like, it's a gamified way of basically saying, hey, you know more, you're more experienced in battling, you are learning, and th therefore you're getting stronger. So where the hell does it make any degree of sense to say that the points actually exist? Like, what? You're not water type. You're bug type. I think. What the hell are you? You might also be steel. Do I want 
energy be ball out here? I don't fucking know. You're a thing. Okay. I'm just gonna Giga Drain again, I guess. But yeah, my point is about the Exu is that I didn't need to do what I did, but I probably would have done it anyway because I did need it for the Tuga. That one's guaranteed. That one I read on Bulbapedia, and I trust Bulbapedia. It's not fair to use moves you weren't expecting. I used Giga Drain three times in a row. If you're not expecting it at that point, you need better understanding of everything. Oh, you're an Amoogus. That's why there's Pokeballs. You're a Refungus, whatever. Point is, I'm going to attack you with my bat. So say your prayers, Mushroom. Squeal for me. Amnesia. That's only special defense. Interesting. Eh, probably not the kind of setup move I would want. I don't really for- oh. Okay. That's more like it. Hmm. Oh, here's the thing. I only have Air Cutter as a special move. Heart Stamp is a physical move. That would make Air Cutter better, but I feel like I need actual Psychic. But then again, I probably will get actually Psychic next time. Or at some point. So... Probably best to get rid of a track, all things considered. Alright. Well. You're an elixir. You're real. What was that like? Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh. I don't know if there's gonna be battle, so I'm gonna save beforehand. Just in case. And also, this will probably be the end of the episode. If it is a battle. Or whatever happens. It might be a cutscene. Whatever happens, it's probably going to be the end of the episode. Future ulti, I declare at the end of the episode. Hello. In we go, I guess. What's up? Deerling are here. There's a sudden drop in temperature near Lacunosa Town. It went down as low as negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty chilly. Similar temperatures were recorded around Castilia and Driftvale. That incident with Team Plasma. I hate cold weather. Well, it's winter. Oh, you haven't give me surf. Cool. Thanks. Sorry to slow you down. You you gave me surf, so it's all good. I am gonna interrupt you. Dreen! Droon! Dree! Twist Mountain has snow. Yep, it sure does. A rather rare deerling? I don't have a PC. Unless this counts. Nope, okay. Alright, well, I guess I can get a rare deerling. I might as well. Because it's... I mean, it's gonna be boxed anyway, but, like, might as well. If it's a free Pokemon, it's a free Pokemon. 
And instead of going the other way, um, I'm going to go ahead and teach Surf. Because hell yeah, Surf. Okay, so it's 95-100. Probably better than Brine, all things considered. Teach bulldoze to anybody? It's a ground type move, so I can teach it to crunch, swagger. Hmm. No one can learn bolt switch, right? Yeah. Didn't think so. I I really need more Pokemon who can like. I don't know. I need more Pokemon who can do cool things. <laughs> like, have really weird coverage like that. When I don't have an electric type. That, I feel like electric type is always like the most glaring weakness thing that I'm lacking in situations like that. Where I just don't have an electric type or an electric type move and I just like flounder sometimes. Alright. Anyways, I also boxed, uh, Energy Ball for the time being, just, just cause, like, I'm getting a Grass-type here, so if I'm in a horrible situation, I'll have a Deerling, but otherwise I'm just gonna get them back at a later point. So, what am I gonna name this Deer? I could name him Bambi, but that's not a thing, so, uh... I don't know what moves Deerling learns. What's a grass type move that I can think of off the top of my head? Ingrain? Ingrain. Ingrain. I don't know if you learn this, but it's what you're becoming anyway. You don't have hooves, you have roots now. Its ability is Serene Grace. Oh, neat. Well, I guess that's what makes it special, then. It's level 30. Neat. Alright. Neat. Don't really need him, but... He'll be with me for the next, like... I don't know. Either way, I'm ending the episode here. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Black version 2, we're going to the rest of this route and the next city, which I don't remember the name of, but Skyla's there, so we might be fighting her if I feel up for fighting a flying type, but because I don't have an electric type, I might be in a weird situation. Then again, I can fling rocks. So who knows? See you guys then.